part three. So we're starting on number 11 now. So the elevation of Boone, North Carolina is about 3,000 feet. Half of North Carolina is about 23 feet elevation. And if you think about it, that makes sense. And I, I, I did Google that first before I put that in, so that's roughly accurate. But it is because we are much closer to sea level, which is zero, which expression would show the difference between the two of them. That word difference, that should tell you to do what operation? Should tell you to subtract. So automatically, when we look at these, we can tell that these are absolute values. So this is the absolute value of 3,000 plus the absolute value of 23. Is that going to give us the difference? No, because it is addition. This is telling us the difference between or the, the absolute value of positive 23 and the absolute value of 3,000 which even though this looks like 23 minus 3,000, that's gonna be a crazy negative number, it's not because it's absolute value, which means you take away the sign. Absolute value is never negative. So that is the true difference between 23 and 3,000. So B would be our answer. C says, I don't remember the meaning of absolute value, so I will message my teacher. If you see this, and you were like, I have no idea what this means. That is something that we talked about last week and I'm happy to help you, but you will have to message me so that I know and I can help you with absolute value. So to me, the minus sign there literally means the difference. Exactly. The difference between 23 and 3,000. Mm -hmm. And so, and that's what's cool about absolute value is you don't have to be like, oh my gosh, is this gonna result in a negative number? Because it's not. It is just like Miss Phillips said, the literal meaning of these numbers combined or the difference between the two of them. So I, what's the mathematical term for the lines on each side of the number? Those is there are one? Just, it's just an absolute value symbol. Okay. Just like this is an equal sign, this means absolute value. And I was going to ask if that's what that meant. Mm -hmm. So that number is equal to itself almost. Yeah, exactly. So there, okay. it's not positive, it's not negative, it is neutral. Because either way, like Greek review of absolute value, if you have absolute value of negative eight, this just means eight. Because that is saying that it is eight spaces away from zero. Okay. So that's all absolute value is. But I know I put C as an answer choice because I know a lot of us get confused on absolute value because that is something that is brand new in sixth grade. And we've heard, we've heard like all this before in some way, but absolute value is brand new. So I know that can get confusing. Uh, so please let me know if we need any extra help on that. So the next one is also absolute value. It says Madeline walked down two flights of stairs. Then she walked up three flights of stairs. Then finally, she walked down five flights of stairs. Which expression could represent the total number of flights Madeline walked? So if we think about this, She's not going to walk negative stairs. She's walking these stairs. She's burning calories. You know, maybe her boots off, maybe it's still on, but she's walking these stairs. So we are not gonna have negative. So we are going to be looking at the absolute values of each of these numbers. So I'd like to go ahead and look at B first because B doesn't have any absolute value. If we just solve B straight across, we have negative two. We're gonna combine positive three with it, which would leave us at positive one. And then we have positive one minus five, which would leave us at negative four. Like I just said, she can't walk negative stairs. She did it, it happened. So B would not be our answer. So if we look at letter A, we have the absolute value of negative two, which we know is actually just two. And then we have minus the absolute value of three, which we know is just three and then plus the absolute value of five. So we could rewrite that problem to be two because pay attention to this, the negative sign is inside the bracket, which means we know that it's asking for the absolute value. Here, it is not. So this is the absolute value of three. That's what the difference is, is the placement of the minus symbol inside or outside of the bracket. 
So we would have two. Okay. This minus would stay the same because it's not included in the absolute value. So we have absolute value of negative two, which is two, minus three plus five. And if we solve this, two minus three, or positive two combined with negative three, is going to give us negative one plus five, which would give us that she only walked four flights of stairs. But if you think about that, if you're like, Madeline, you only walked four flights of stairs, and she'd be like, oh no, I walked way more stairs than four. So A could not be your answer. So that leaves only C, but let's look at why C is correct. So C is telling us the absolute value of two, which is just two, plus or combined, because it's asking for the total, combined with the absolute value of three, combined with the absolute value of negative five, which we know is just regular five, which would give us that Madeline walked 10 total flights of stairs. Does that make sense? Yes, and these stairs really made a lot of sense because the idea of down being negative and up being positive, mm -hmm. but the fact that she physically walked all of these stairs, right. it wasn't like the money where we're subtracting and adding. Yeah. So this one is just like a straightforward absolute value question. So you're comparing which of the following is true. So we're looking at these inequalities. So this is saying that the absolute value of 15 is greater than 12. How many spaces away from, the, from zero is negative 15? It's just 15. So is 15 greater than 12? Yes. And this may be, I don't know yet, this may be one of those with multiple answer choices that are correct, so we're gonna work through all of them. We're not just gonna circle A and be done. This says negative 10 is greater than the absolute value of negative one, which is just one. Is negative 10 greater than one? No, absolutely not. So then this says negative three, the absolute value is less than positive two. So that is saying absolute value of negative three is just three is less than two. Does that make sense? Nope. So we know that A is our only correct answer here. Any questions? Good on that one. I feel like if you made it through this to this part in the review, it's it's easier from here. So this one, same thing, pretty straightforward. It says what is the difference between negative sixteen point eight and nine point one? This would be great if you wanted to draw a number line, you could. If you know to get the difference, which is not just going to be, this is a main mistake that I've seen students make, just doing, oh, difference, 16.8 minus 9.1. This is not going to work because you are finding the difference between. And if you look at a number line, I'm not gonna fill in all the numbers, but negative 16.8 would be like way down here, zeros here, 9.1 would be like over here. So there's going to be way bigger of a difference than if you just did 16.8 minus 9.1. There are a lot of teachers that equivocate difference with subtract. I really push the fact that the word difference means how are the values of the number different, not necessarily exactly. subtraction. Mm -hmm. um, just like what would the differences between me and you be, or you right. and I be? Yeah. And so the difference here isn't necessarily subtraction, it's how are the values different? What is the value of the difference? Right, so, and just like Ms. Phillips said, this is, it's not going to always be subtraction, especially like in a video that I haven't made yet, but I'm going to and I'm probably gonna post it, like this, actually probably tomorrow, um, about combining negative numbers, you can forget almost everything you know about subtraction. Because once you get with negative numbers, it's more of just combining digits and looking at Values. like just the difference between them or the combined total of them when you have positive and negative. So to go from 16.8 to zero, I know I'm gonna have to jump 16.8 spaces. So I'm already, 
Did I move to the right or the left? I moved to the right, so that's like positive. Mm -hmm. That's like the 